Okay, so you're supposedly praying in this courtyard. Catholic school girls. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. I'm bored out of my mind. Don't tell me you're not bored. I'm sure they're trying to drive us mad. It's a well-known fact that too much violence can drive a person insane. It's all right for them. They're already around the bend. Especially Mother Peter. If she hadn't put herself in a convent, somebody would have locked her up in a loony bin. Shh. It's all right. There's nobody about. Besides, they probably put a shitload of microphones in the bushes. And they're sure to have stationed Mother Reverend on a periscope in the basement. Why can't they just have their idiotic holi or retreats on the holidays? You want a smarty? Oh, Jesus, have one, will you? For Christ's sake, we're not supposed to be fasting. Hold out your hand. Are you trying to keep quiet to annoy me by any chance? I suppose you're afraid of getting caught. I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. Well, what are you being so holy for, then? Come to think of it, though, you've always been a bit that way inclined. I have not. I'm no more holy than you are. Not much. You've probably never committed a genuine mortal sin in all of your life. But yes, I have. I've definitely committed one. Oh, one. That's a lot, isn't it? Why, how many have you committed? Oh, millions. Have you really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know that back in the Yes. They were mine. They were. <laughs> they were. <laughs> Why didn't you go up and claim them? Are you kidding me? She would have never known. Well, who got the blame in the end? Maria Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very fair. She's not bothered. They could have just as easily been hers. <laughs> she went red when Mother Peter Cross examined her. <laughs> Do you know she's going out with a really old man? No. Yeah. You must be at least like 25. Nearly everyone in our grade has got a man. <laughs> About time you get yourself one, isn't it? You think I've never been out with a guy, don't you? Well, you haven't. Have you? Oh, yes, I have, if you want to know. Oh, since when? Since right after Easter, actually. Um, how come you kept so quiet about it, then? Well, if I told you something really confidential, would you promise to keep it a secret? Yeah, of course. Would you promise to God never to tell a soul? Yeah, you can trust him. <coughs> Cross your heart and hope to die. All right. You remember when you were in Fatima? Yeah. Well, I met a guy in the street, and he invited me to his house. So I went. Wait, what? <laughs> you let a guy pick you up, and you didn't even know who he was? What? No. I mean, yes. I mean, I did know who he was. That's just the thing. You do, too. Who? You promised not to tell anyone, especially Mary McKenzie. Wait, why not her? Well, this guy, you see, it was her boyfriend, Derek. Cor? No. Yes. Oh, Jesus, she'd go berserk if she ever found out. Well, you won't tell her, will you, please? I wouldn't dare. Did he ask to see you again? No. I wouldn't want to see him again as long as they live. He's horrible. Really? How come Mary begins to be so mad about him, then? Well, it's nice at first. But then he just turned nasty. Well, not nasty, but rude. Do all guys do rude things to girls? Yeah. The majority of them, if they get the chance. Well, has Adam ever tried to be impure? That's all he ever thinks about. But he's a Catholic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's kind of terrible, isn't it? <laughs> well, you and Adam have been going out a long time, haven't you? What about it? Well, is that why you do so many mortal sins? Is because he makes you? What? What a thing to say. It's the devil that makes you commit sins. Well, then that Derek must be possessed by the devil, then. Oh, why? Oh, dear. Don't tell me you lost your priceless virginity now, have you? No. No. But what? I couldn't possibly tell you. Why? I've probably heard it all before. I couldn't possibly say what he did. I have it all written down here in my diary. I keep it with me just in case anyone would ever see it. My mom would swing on me if she ever saw it. But you can read it if you like. <laughs> Cor, fancy letting a guy do that to you on the first time ever going out with him. I didn't want him to, but he's stronger than me, you know? Not a little boy that Derek. He's a big, proper man, you know? 
Well, <laughs> they usually stop if you tell them to. I did. But he kept saying stuff like, we all know that no means yes. It means you liked what he was doing, but you just didn't want to admit it. I didn't like it. You didn't? You must be abnormal then. I'm not. You must be. Everyone else likes it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't that bad, I suppose. You know, you really gotta find a guy of your own. It's not the done thing to go around borrowing other people's. Give me back my diary and shut your rotten face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you're back. Cute, charming. Okay, let's discuss it. Uh, let's talk about. Let's talk about stage energy. Oh, uh oh. No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm right now. I, I like the fact that they were going for an honesty delivery, conversational, something honest about it or charming. I'm just questioning the energy level. Could it have been larger? I don't know. Yes, Megan, go. I'm your guys' biggest fan of the movie so much. But <laughs> I, it could have been, it could have been larger for sure. And I feel like Kayla could have been a little quirkier. Quirky. In the way, yeah, like quirkier, just in the way, like. Yes. No, you know, I don't know. I, I feel right. Like it was, it was a little low, but it was not. Megan, you're 100 percent right. <laughs> uh, I, that's true. I think Michael, you you thought also it could have been larger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think I, it was honest. Yeah. And it was there, like it. You know what was cute? Let me tell you, I spoke to these characters uh, yesterday or something, and there was a f they thought that this was a drama. They, they interpreted it that she got raped. And I said, no, this is a... And it says, the playwright says right in the beginning, this is a comedy. And the dialogue is, there was a naivete to the dialogue. If you listen to these two talk, that older man... 25. <laughs> That's old the concept. Man. Who yeah. says 25 is an old old man? You know what I mean? The, 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 the conversation is so terribly naive that it does sound extremely young. You know? Um, but you get the comedic aspects. I heard you laugh a few times. James, mm -hmm. what you think? Um, I thought it was great. I did get the comedic aspects. Um, Kayla, your character to me was just... It was just so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like she's like, well, you guys are Catholic school girls. You just have such a free attitude while she was still trying to stay reserved. And at the end of the day, you kind of realize that both of you are yeah. not as Catholic as you Yeah. Megan, were you talking about Kayla's character? Kayla? She's a little more quirky, and then I feel like, like she is like quirky. A little, a little yeah. more, Lauren kind of went the little, a little more opposite way, kind of like more appalled at yes. what she's talking about. You know, that's it. Like just a little more on both ends. But and you're right. And you know what they did was so nice. And and you know we're being picky. But what, yeah. what's a good workshop about? But to pick a little bit. There, there was a lot of good things about the scene. The interesting back and forth was honest. It wasn't over the wall. But you're right, you, if you want to color these characters, yeah. you need to blow them up bigger. Yeah, we said this yesterday. Yeah, it's like we came with, you know, your character is nasty yeah. to some degree. When you say, you, you know what a mortal sin is? Now, those of you who are Catholic, any Catholics in the audience here? Oh, one? Oh, no, I don't believe that. Two? Okay. Well, if you know... Um, Raised Catholic and Jump Raised Catholic, yeah. And Jump Ship. Yeah, 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 right. Right. Uh, a mortal sin, if you die with a mortal sin on your soul, the Catholics believe that you go to hell. And there was a period when I was younger that they said, if you miss Mass on a Sunday, that's a mortal sin. You're going to go to hell. Whatever. Catholics are so warm. If they start, you're going to go to hell. It's, um, but this, but this, they're poking fun. This is, you know, it's, it's a funny commentary on these Catholic school girls. And don't be afraid to build, you know, to blow it up a bit. Because you have a lot of nice things going in this thing. I just needed to see it bigger, a bigger kind of comment, in a sense. What else? Anybody else have their hand up out there? Whoa. This is interesting, because I have a bunch of PhDs in the audience. Oh, one, yeah. right there. One hand. And, oh, one hand. Yes. Um, I, I really enjoyed the back and forth with the, the notebook. That was fun. Could oh, it, yeah. Yeah, could it have been bigger where you like, yeah, run around with Yeah, they probably the could have played, the, uh, yeah, played up the, the diary bigger. Is that what you mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, why not? Yeah. Yeah, we just figured that out. Only, you know, what you, what you think? 
Well, I was sitting right here, so I heard everything, but I kind of agree with what Megan said. Yeah. Like, a little bit more cart here and a little bigger. But right, yeah. right. But overall, like, it was really natural. I really can't believe in with all that stuff behind you that you're sitting and you're, like, you're chatting like friends. Right, like, really right. It really natural. Yeah, and I, I'm, you know, I, I like, in the beginning, this is your responsibility, Kayla. Yeah. She's quiet. She's still in prayer. And she wants you to shut up. Mm -hmm. And you're rattling on. Yeah. You know, and I could see it bigger. Yeah. Play, play it bigger. Nail that kind I just of stuff. Didn't wanna when you start to make fun of who who is it, Mother Peter? Yeah. That's a strange <laughs> name right there. Mother <laughs> Peter. Mother Peter. Yeah, but I mean it's an open church. Yeah. Ma yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an open church. Ma yeah. Mother Peter. Mother Peter. Yeah. 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 Really insults uh, that that kind of thing. And you're appalled by her this attitude. Right. They, they're definitely opposites, these two characters. But when you, now it's strictly up to you, if you feel you want to bring this back with maybe what we call heightened characters, mm -hmm. that would be good. I, I, you're still getting laughs, right. but, you could, but they, it could have even been, been lost. Right. You know, definitely. Okay. Thank you, girls. Okay.